Hey guys, I wanted to talk about mental health today, which is becoming more and more of a problem because of today's uh, negatively charged climate. It's affecting, causing anxiety, causing depression, and it's touched all of our lives at some level. So today what I wanted to do was talk about some tips to help us improve our mental health. It won't be in any order, and I just wanted to touch on each one briefly. So the first thing is, and I'll just get right in. So the first thing is exercise. It, exercise is essential, especially at the first of the day, because what it does is it increases our energy levels, it increases uh, serotonin and dopamine, in it, which helps to level out those uh, hormones and helps you just decreases anxiety, decreases depression, and just helps you, just set you up so that you're better able to handle the stresses of your day. So it's important to start your day with exercise. Secondly, um, meditation. And I only believe in guided meditation, not the, you know, just letting any odd thought into your mind, but guided meditation. And what I mean by that, and it can take as little as 10 minutes, but just find a quiet spot and just, you know, get into a relaxed uh, position and just close your eyes and just let go of all, imagining all of that stress leave your body and dis-ease, I like to call it, anxiety, depression, yuck, that's built up throughout the day, and then replace it. Imagine replacing it with light and healing and peace and calm. And that can really just really get you release that anxiety, release that depression, and help you to get about your day. Um, I also, there's, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's called Alpha Sound, and that really helps to put you in an instant meditative uh, state, which makes uh, that meditation more effective. And I will put a link to that where you can just download it for free um, after this video. Uh, sleep very essential. I know I've talked about some of these things before, but it is essential because sleep helps to reduce the inflammation. While you're sleeping, it heals your brain. It reduces that inflammation. It releases those toxins. Um, it helps to balance those cortisol levels and your hormone levels so that the next day you're able to handle those stressors and that anxiety and just improves your mood for the next day. So sleep is essential. Um, what you eat is important. If you are, you know, you have to, re and we know these things, but it's just helpful to be reminded. But if you remove all of those processed foods out and, and put in good healthy fats and green foods, um, also if you're sensitive to gluten, that causes brain fog, it causes depression, it causes anxiety. So you need to remove gluten, sugar, we know this. It causes blood sugar spikes. It causes your mood to be on a roller coaster. It causes increased depression and it causes anxiety. So sugar should be removed. Water, you need to drink plenty of water because if you're already in a depressed state, water is one of our main fuel sources that our body goes to for first. So we need to be constantly hydrating ourselves, which is going to help reduce that anxiety and that depression. Also, what you don't eat is even more important than what you do eat. And the more I research this, the more important I think this is to just incorporate this as just part of a healthy lifestyle, and that's not eating, <laughs> fasting. So, and again, I talked about this, but at that 17 hour stage, it's called, uh, when you manage to get to 17 hours, it's called autophagy, and so it, uh, the, it removes the toxins, start removing the toxins from your cells and getting rid of those dead cells, um, getting rid of that inflammation. And when you hit that 24 mark, which is really important, that's when it really increases your dopamine, it increases serotonin, it increases BDNF, which is a neuroprotector, and it, which also is a regulator of dopamine. So trying to get to a 24 hour fast weekly, I think is essential. Also, I think also, um, uh, that it's also going to help to remove if you're worried about uh, dementia or um, Alzheimer's essential try to get in a 24-hour fast once a week it'll protect your brain um, 
supplements. Uh, I've spoken about ashwagandha before. It is um, a, it balances your hormones. It balances out your cortisol levels. It reduces anxiety. It reduces um, depression. So uh, ashwagandha really helps. So does rhodiola. It does the exact same thing. It helps to reduce your um, um, anxiety levels. And one thing when you have depression, you have low energy. So also supplementing with um, ginseng and Siberian ginseng is really going to help um, level out uh, those anxiety and depression levels and really help you throughout your day. Um, also, and I didn't mention it, but caffeine. We all know that that's just also put you on a roller coaster of ups and downs. And so trying to limit that caffeine or removing it completely um, is really going to help with your mental health as well. Um, relationships. This is, goes both ways. Getting rid of the toxic relationships, which can really be damaging and draining on your mental health. And making sure that at least weekly you spend time with friends and family because um, it is essential for your mental health. It improves your serotonin levels, your uh, dopamine levels, your oxytocin, oxytocin levels, and it just makes you feel great. It makes you happy. And you're going to realize that when you walk away uh, from the spending times with friends and family. Why don't I do that more often? Oh yeah, COVID. <laughs> Who cares? Spend time with friends and family. It's more helpful for you than not doing it. Um, let's see, also not having any purpose. Not having purpose reduces, kills your joy, kills your energy levels, kills your motivation. You don't have much of a life because you have no target, you have no goals. And um, you have nothing that gets you out of bed in the morning, no excitement in your life. You wanna change that, you wanna turn that all around, find your purpose find your why and you will find your joy and you will find life again and it'll be worth living again. I've spoken about this before too, but it's very important. It's very essential. Getting into your Bible. Say we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against uh, Satan. He is here to kill, steal and destroy. And he is part of our mental health problem because he's always up here in our heads, putting, um, you know, thoughts in our heads that are not helping us at all or putting people in front of us that are saying words to us that are hurtful and destructive to our mental health. So we have to remi remember that we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against Satan. So you have to renew your mind. You have to get into your Bible. One thing I think really is important is getting into group Bible studies because that brings the relationship, relational aspect into it. It also, um, it also helps with where two or more are gathered together in my name, there I am also. So get into a group Bible study and it will bring your joy back. It will bring mental healing and mental health back. You're renewing your mind. Spend time in the Bible. So I hope that you found some of that helpful today and uh, that you can come away with some helpful tips to help you in your mental health journey. And you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you again next time.